Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh and not do so by Shimon Today I'll be coming back with a quick video, albeit not on my Blue Letter Bible app. I mean, sorry, yeah. not on my, uh, my Bible app. But today I'll be bringing out the video on Instagram. So I was just looking for some ideas, but just looking through Instagram. And uh, this brother, Spiritual Shooter, uh, I'll probably leave his Instagram link down, but he put some a few scriptures together, so I'll just make a video on it. But, but like his title, my title will be the same: Prove a Friend. First, first, let's like, get the Book of Sirach, chapter six, verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Con, so like, um, and and we're Jake, so like, uh, we don't really say. I mean, we some of us say friend, but some of us say nigga. So like, if that would like if that would just get a friend, like homeboy or nigga, or day one. Like, uh, if you if you get like a friend, you gotta prove him. Like, you gotta prove him first. You can't like uh, be willing to bring him everywhere. Con. So like, uh, you gotta be willing to like uh, prove him and see like uh, how his mentality is, and like. Um, what can make him and what can break him and be not hasty to credit him Kyle, you just can't be like uh, like if nobody knows that person like you've only known them for two days you can't just bring them to your friend group you have to prove them but um let me scroll down book of sarvac chapter 6 verse 16 a faithful friend is the medicine of life and they that fear the lord shall find him Kyle, so like a faithful friend is like a medicine of life uh, uh, what that means is like um, if you find like a faithful friend like a good friend like he, he can help you like when you're going down and through situations and like if you're the lord, if you fear the lord then eventually you will find them or him or her so Iraq 19 8 whether it be to a friend or foe talk not of other men's lives and this is something that's prevalent in our community like to be honest, we need to shut the hell up and stop speaking about people's lives. Now, like, if you're talking about people's lives, like, like, a, not real people, like, people that have been, like, like, on TV shows, like, the characters themselves, but not the actors. So, like, yeah, the characters themselves, like, you could talk about them, but, like, if it's a real person, and, like, like, um, like, a, you could see them taking it the wrong way, and you shouldn't even talk about somebody's lives. But reading on, and if thou canst without offense, reveal them not. Con, so basically saying like, don't, don't talk about people. Verse, uh, Sarkia, Book of Sarak, chapter 27, verse 17. Love thy friend and be faithful unto him. But if thou betrays his secret, follow no more after him. Con, so you're supposed to love your friend and be faithful to him. But like, if you at all go back against him, and, uh, just, but, like, like, if you go against him, like, you betray him or something, like, don't try to go back to him, because, or you should at least wait, because, like, all hell might break loose. And, like, he might try to destroy you or come up with a plot or something. But, Con, I'm going to read it again. Love thy friend and be faithful unto him. But if thou betrays his secret, Con, like, if you, like, if you betray uh, your friend's secret, follow no more after him, which means uh, go, don't go back uh, after him, because he's really not going to trust you. Book of Sirach, 37, verse 4 through 5, GNT. Some people will be your friends as long as things are going well, but they will turn against you when trouble comes. Con. So, like, like, uh, obviously, it's simple, and I don't need to break it down, but I'm still break it down. Like, you have certain people that, like, um, like, uh, they'll, like, they'll want to sit at your table, like, if you have all the food. But if you're starving and you have nothing on their table, they won't even, they won't even uh, take some food off their plate and give it to you. Con. But let me read it again. Some people will be your friend as long as things are going well, but 
they will turn against you when trouble comes. Con. So in, even if like they don't help you, like even they don't help you, like fine, that's whatever. But some people will, like um say like a you had nothing in your plate, but like something, like say you had nothing in your plate, but like just some rice. Like and this is us speaking, of course, uh metaphorically, like a uh, like different situations, like like um some some people will take their rice away from you just to make your plate bigger and like leave you with nothing but verse 5 a real friend will help you against your enemies and protect you in the fight Calm. so a real friend will always have your back look at chapter 37 verse 10 in the gnc don't add don't ask advice for anyone who doesn't trust you and don't give advice to anyone who is jealous of you Calm. Like, this is also another problem in our communities that we gotta work on. Like, like, uh, I believe it said, like, somewhere, like, um, one of Solomon's writings, writings, he said something like, um, have but one counselor. Con, so, like, uh, but, like, with you having that one counselor, you should really chiefly take their advice. But, of course, other people can counsel you. But, like, if, when you wanna get anybody to counsel you, don't ask advice of anyone who doesn't trust you. Con, like, you have to make sure that person trusts you, and you have to trust that person. And don't give advice to anyone who is jealous of you. Con, so this second part is like a, something also that we deal with in our community. Because some people will ask advice of you, just, just like to see, like, where your mind's at, and see if, like, they can cross you or something. So like, like if you know somebody's jealous of you or has an evil eye towards you, just try to stay away from them. Or at least don't give them advice. Book of Sarvak, chapter 37, verse 12. But be consumed with a godly man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. Con, so like, your friends, like, a, of course, a, most of us got, like, most of us that weren't born in the truth. So like we got friends and family in the world. But uh, with that being said, with that being said, like if you have a chance to come up upon a brother or sister like that's like in this truth, like you should always stay with them. Cause like uh, somewhere in the scriptures it says two are better than one. I believe that's like um, Proverbs four. But, um, you, like, you always gotta stay with a godly man, like, somebody that knows, somebody who keeps the commitments as well as you. So, like, y'all can rebuke each other and, like, uh, grow better in the truth. So, but let me read on. Whose mind is according, whose mind is according to thy mind and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. Con, so, like, so, like, say, like, a you know. Uh, you don't have a so far to blow for the new moon. Like, that person, like, can help you, like, buy or, or get a so far. So, like, uh, you're not at sin. But, con. So, um, yeah, I just, um, I was just scrolling through Instagram and I found, uh, uh this brother's quote. Uh, like, he compiled some scriptures and put them together. So, but uh, let me read this last one. Second Timothy two fifteen. Study the sword I shall approve. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, probably dividing the word. Now this doesn't really go with the video, but this is like also another example. Like you have to study the sword of self approved. But con, I hope somebody had a find. And I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, and I do so by Shimasa Kawasha. Shalom.